Usher, an amazing entertainer in his own right, who often said that he took a lot of his dance moves from Michael Jackson. Yeah, very emotional moment. Uh, uh, you know, it, 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 you have to try and put your, your, your yourself in this place and time. Uh, from being there uh, in a moment like that, to know the, the, the crowd of emotions that can come up upon you. Yeah, a lot of folks here overwhelmed. Brooke Shields sure. moved to tears. Um, Usher clearly uh, moved to tears. You know, uh, it's interesting because uh, it seems as though when someone comes and hugs you in a time like that, it, it makes, you <laughs> it cry makes hard. it worse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but we understand. We understand. There he is. I wrote that song. <laughs> I thought I sang it. <laughs> I wrote that song back in, and a um, few years later, here comes this little kid, he's 10 years old. And uh, Barry had this, gathering at his house. He said, come on, I want you to see somebody very special. 
So I go over there and these five young guys are there. And they sang and danced up a storm. A couple weeks later, um, they recorded my song. And um, I heard it. <laughs> I thought to myself, now they have pulled a fast one on us because this boy cannot possibly be 10 years old. This song is about somebody who had somebody who loved them, but they treated them bad. They treated them so bad till they lost them. And now they are paying the price of wanting somebody back that they treated bad and lost. How could he possibly know these things? I quickly went over to him because I wanted to see his birth certificate. I did not believe that someone that young could have that much feeling and soul and know. He had a lot of know. He had to, he had to know something to sing that song like that. It was wonderful though. As a songwriter, man, that's a dream come true to have somebody sing one of your songs like that. And um, I, I myself, I never thought I would be here on today. It's my little brother over there. And um, you, you just don't think that you, you, you're gonna see or you'll live to see him gone. But he will never really be gone. He is going to live forever and ever and ever and ever. He has made an enormous impact on all of our lives, all over the world. I mean, in, in, I have young kids coming up to me now, you know, because I, 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 when I do concerts, I sing Who's Loving You in the concerts. And young kids who are at the concerts come up to me and say, hey, you're singing Michael Jackson's song, huh? <laughs> but he will live on forever. I am a firm believer in blessings. And I have had so many, many blessings in my life. One of my greatest blessings was I got a chance to know the Jackson family and to know Michael and to see him. I'm glad I live in an era when I got a chance to see what everybody's been coming up here saying, greatest entertainer of all times. I'm glad that I live in this era. I believe so much in God. I believe so much that this is not it. We have life after this is done. So my brother is in a place now where he is most certainly going to live forever in the hereafter. So he's going to live forever twice because he's going to live forever right here because the world will never, ever forget Michael Jackson. I love you, my brother. I celebrate your life. I am proud that I had the chance to know you. God bless you. I know he is. Smokey Robinson there, uh, hugging the, the brothers. Uh, a lot of people didn't know uh, the, that he was the originator of that song. Yeah, I didn't realize that. <laughs> I, I first remember hearing Michael Jackson sing that yeah, song. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a 